Mm-hmm. Babies. How we doing? Mm-hmm. You're getting so big, aren't ya? Aye. So. This video is actually for everyone who's planning on bringing home a new puppy. Puppies are just six weeks old, so they have another, another four to six weeks before they go to their new home. But I like to get everyone prepared get ready to take home their babies. <laughs> so the one thing that I tell everything, everyone, uh, uh, before you bring home your new puppy is to uh, prepare your home for the puppies. So one of the things that I think is really important is that the puppy has a safe place uh, when you go to bed or when you leave your your uh, puppy alone they are in a either a crate or uh, a stall or somewhere where they cannot get into mischief uh, which is really important because this time uh, as puppies, they will get into everything. So that's really important. I uh, used a crate, uh, which I uh, had in the barn, which worked perfectly for, uh, Bear was my last puppy that I brought into the farm. And um, uh, he stayed in there at night until uh, I got up in the morning and started my my farm chores um, uh, and that's really important I also tell everyone to get either a blanket or a uh, small puppy bed or something for the puppy to know it is uh, his or hers um, that's in the safe place so they get very familiar with that space. I also give uh, one of our uh, uh, unstuffed buddies to take with the puppies uh, when they go to their new home. And it's just because it has the scent of, the, of their siblings and has the, the scent of, of the, the barn where they've been living. Uh, for their whole puppyhood. Uh, and I would definitely say uh, getting chew toys are very important for puppies. Uh, especially this time of year, you'll notice right away that these guys have very sharp puppy teeth. So uh, the one thing that I like to do right from the beginning when they start biting is having a chew toy in my hand. Uh, so if they start biting my my legs or my socks or my pants or my shoes, I uh, put the chew toy in their mouth instead of my, uh, my sock. Uh, so they learn at an early age uh, that chewing on people is not good. Uh, their mom also does a great job of disciplining them now. That's their mom highly right now. She's sleeping by the fan. Uh, but she will uh, definitely make them stop if they start uh, uh, biting her. 
so that's one of the reasons why I like keeping the puppies until they are at least 10 weeks old, preferably 12 weeks old, because they have a chance to get socialized with um, the other animals on the farm. I have a total now of five uh, adult uh, Great Pyrenees, although Sam and Ralph are still considered puppies because they're only uh, eight months old. Um, and that's another thing that I make sure I tell everyone that Great Pyrenees take at least a year to a year and a half to mature. So they will stay in this puppy stage that entire time. They may grow huge, but they're still puppies, so you have to treat them as such. Uh, Sam and Ralph uh, have the first week now that they've been uh, not confined to their safe space at night. So sh they're able to stay out and uh, uh, start uh, uh, patrolling the, uh, the farmstead with the uh, three other adults that are on the, the farm. And they are working all night long. Most people don't know that uh, Great Pyrenees are actually nocturnal by nature. So their most active time is at night. So my dogs are literally going uh, from one end of the farm to the other uh, all night long. And it's because we have so many predators around our farm who are always trying to get our animals and our dogs are right there to stop them um, so well, let's see the other thing I tell everyone uh, to have is a uh, safe place treat so I use um, for puppies I would use something like uh, just a milk bone biscuit or just a, a, a puppy uh, biscuit something that they will associate as a reward for going into their safe space oh. at night yes oh. you tell them oh. as you can tell the puppies have learned to bark they actually know how to do all of the vocal sounds like an adult so They'll bark and yelp and growl, and this is what they do when they are playing with each other. Uh, and it's uh, fun to hear. So, um, let's see, the other thing I say is to name your treat. So, uh, for my dogs, uh, the treat is called a cookie. So, when I want them to go somewhere, like in the barn or someplace where I uh, they're out of my way if I'm doing work uh, I will uh, give them uh, a cookie and they know that when I say cookie it means they're getting a treat um, let's see what else did I have written down here so start planning your routine one thing I, I tell everyone when they're planning on having a puppy come to their their homestead um, it's very important for them to have a routine uh, uh, for bedtime uh, anytime uh, you are planning on having a company come uh, to the house if you have uh, workers on the house or if you you um, have something where you need them to be in their safe place um, uh, get that routine down uh, and, and at least uh, thought about before your puppy comes home that's really important uh, the other thing is interacting with other animals on your farm uh, it's it's good to have a plan at the beginning if you have farm animals uh, like we have we have chickens ducks guineas uh, turkeys 
um, and uh, all of our animals slowly will start to interact with the other farm animals. These guys are going to go out into our pavilion this week and they're going to uh, uh, get up close with our uh, other animals on the farm. But the one thing I have to emphasize is puppies need to be uh, 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 not left alone with farm animals. They are still puppies and they still want to play with everything. And obviously they can't play with a, uh, a turkey or a chicken or, or a duck. And right now we have we have babies all over the farm. And of course, uh, a puppy thing to do is to chase those small little uh, animals. So you have to discipline them when they do it. So uh, you have to make sure that you're with them uh, when they're uh, with other animals. So as soon as they start chasing, another animal uh, just make a loud noise and get them to stop. I do like the Caesar Milan uh, sound of tss, and that usually makes them stop whatever they're doing. Uh, and that's, that's important. Uh, so they stop chasing them. All dogs have a predator instinct and play like what these dogs are doing now that's actually practicing their predator instinct. So Great Pyrenees have the predator instinct uh, dormant um, as far as them uh, going after animals for food. But as you can tell, it's still present. They just don't act on it like other dogs. Well, it would be very hard to teach a, um, a herding dog or a hunting dog not to want to chase um, farm animals. But Great Pyrenees uh, and other livestock guardian dogs, they actually learn um, what animals are part of the family. And then once they're adults, you can trust them with all of your animals and you don't have to worry about them. Um, getting hurt or injured by the, by the dogs. Um, so have your routine planned out. Um, I always like to uh, explain uh, how to introduce your puppy to other animals. So uh, if you have another, an older dog, um, the one thing that's really important is that your older dog knows that this puppy is now a part of the family. And the way I would do it, I would keep the puppy on my lap and sit down and have the adult dogs come up to the puppy and smell them uh, and uh, slowly interact with them. Uh, and they will learn how to um, accept the new puppy because the puppy is basically your baby. So that's some uh, some things that you have to uh, consider is introducing your, your puppy. And I uh, tell everyone to never leave your puppy alone uh, with other animals, even uh, another dog. And the reason is because the puppies can actually get injured at first, and the adult dogs do need to learn um, how to treat these puppies. So um, we have, uh, like I said, uh, Sam and Ralph are, are eight month olds, and they're still considered puppies. So when they get to interact with these puppies, it will be under supervision, because Sam and Ralph love to play rough for uh, their age and it would be too much for for six week olds so uh, that's uh, some some things to consider um, let's see
see. Have a plan when your puppy chases or plays with other animals. So this is something if you have more than, than uh, one human on the farm, um, it helps if you all have the same plan. So uh, they know that if, uh, when the puppy does chase another animal like a chicken or a duck or, or whatever you have on the farm, they have to be uh, disciplined right when it happens. So you have to uh, make sure they stop doing it immediately. That's why they have to be supervised because they do want to play with everything. So uh, some, some important things to uh, consider. Let's see. So I, I always love to tell a story about uh, my uh, old dog, Princess, who spent 15 years on uh, uh, living in New York City with me. Uh, and when I bought the farm, of course, she was a Border Collie mix and she wanted to pretty much chase and uh, hunt down every animal. Uh, so the uh, thing that I had to do with Princess is I had to walk around with her on a leash. And anytime she would lunge at another animal, I would immediately pull her uh, leash and make her stop. Um, chasing them and it took a while but she actually did learn uh, to uh, not chase after uh, the farm animals so uh, let's see the other thing I, I make sure everyone has before they come to pick up the puppies uh, they have to have a collar and a leash for their puppy and even if they're planning on just keeping the, the puppy on their lap in the car, um, it, it's always a good idea to have them with a collar and a leash attached just in case something happens and they decide to run um, out of the car. So I don't let anyone leave with the puppy unless the puppy has a collar and a leash. And I tell everyone to buy a large breed adult collar. When they are ready to leave the farm, uh, they will have the, the collar size uh, perfect for, uh, for an adult uh, large breed dog. It, it will be on the smallest uh, hole and as they grow, you just uh, uh, adjust the, the uh, length of the collar. But you won't need to buy another collar if you buy a large breed adult um, collar. Uh, right now, the puppies weigh between uh, 10 pounds and 15 pounds. And... Uh, their collars that they have on right now are almost ready to be replaced by their, the last collar that we give them, uh, which has the same color um, that they have now. So everyone who already has picked their, their puppy, uh, you know your puppy by the color of the collar. So, um, Let's see, what else did I write down in here? I made a list. Um, another thing that's uh, really important before you bring home your puppy is to know uh, the foods that are toxic uh, to dogs. So uh, most people know about chocolate raisins, onions, um, and there's a whole list of uh, foods that are uh, toxic to, to dogs. So 
um, that's really important that you know that. I have a rule on, on our farm that our dogs uh, do not get any human food. So I know some people really love being able to give their dogs um, the scraps from their, their dinners or lunches. But uh, because there are so many foods that are toxic and uh, we don't realize how many uh, things that we put in our seasoning that could also be toxic to dogs. Um, so the last thing I would want is for you to have a, a sick pup because you gave it something that uh, it wasn't supposed to eat. Uh, all of our puppies go home with uh, a sample of their puppy food that we, we uh, feed them here on the farm. And uh, it's recommended by our vet that you at least keep uh, the puppies on the same food for at least a week to two weeks. Um, so they will get uh, uh, slowly um, accustomed to the new food. So uh, we leave, uh, uh, we give you a, a small bag of our uh, puppy food that we feed them and then uh, you can start them on that when they get home and then after about a week or two weeks you can switch them to whatever puppy food uh, you uh, would want to give them but we would do it slowly so you slowly um, add the new food to their puppy food that we give you. Um, let's see. Uh, the other thing is make sure you have the ASPCA poison control number. It's an 888 uh, number. And uh, our vet and, and most vets do this. If your dog or puppy eats something that they weren't supposed to, uh, your vet will uh, most likely tell you to call the uh, ASPCA poison control first uh, so that they will be able to tell you what is the recommended um, um, routine to, uh, uh, to fix that. Um, and they have a 24-7 uh, vet that is on call with the poison control. So they would be able to tell you uh, what to do uh, next just to make sure that your puppy is um, uh, okay because they will get into stuff and you want to make sure that they don't get sick from whatever they got into so it's a really good number to have on hand and of course you should have your your veterinarian's number as well um, in case any emergencies happen uh, let's see, um, what else do I have? I think that is it. Uh, so when you're coming to pick up your puppy, uh, just remember that they are not used to being in a car or a truck for a long period of time. They're not used to going on long rides. So there's a good chance that you're puppy could get car sick. So I tell everyone to be prepared, bring some uh, paper towels or whatever you, you would use to uh, clean up if they do get car sick because it happens uh, pretty frequently. Uh, someone got sick on our way to our, our vet visit the other day. So we're used to it and we know it's, it's going to happen to uh, at least one of the puppies. What are you doing? But uh, keep that in mind. And uh, if they are going to be with other uh, adult dogs, it's not a bad idea uh, if you can bring that adult dog with you to pick up when you pick up your puppy. Your adult dog can't come onto our farm because our dogs treat all adult dogs like predators. So they will not accept your uh, dog on the farm, but uh, the ride home is a good time for you to uh, 
uh, not only have the puppy get acquainted to the humans, but also get acquainted with um, if there's another dog. Uh, and, and just uh, forcing them to have to lay down together uh, in a car definitely would be um, helpful for the transition uh, to their new home. So I think I've covered everything. Of course, anyone who has any questions or comments, uh, feel free to contact us. Um, our number is with uh, the AKC profile and you can contact us also on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, and that's it. I don't want to babble any more. Hope you all are having an awesome day, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.